Risky Behavior. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. Thank you for tuning in with me today. The topic I will be talking about right now in this video is what's up with the infatuation with what goes on with other people in their bedroom? Stuff that has nothing to um, do with you. Why is the world consumed with knowing who's gay and who's not gay? Especially when it comes to man, right? And it's common, right? Because it's often the first attack, the first slander that they want to throw at any man. Whatever their color is, it's the main thing. You know, if a guy do something or say something, somebody don't. The first thing they, and I hate to say this, but it comes a lot from women. Oh, he's gay. That's why he's saying that. He's gay. Right? I'm going to just say that. I'm not trying to start a gender war. But it happens all the time. And the perfect example is Tasha K. Now, I went to watch Tasha K's interview because she's been doing this for a long time. And I expect to be entertained. And even like... My wife, right? She's a Tasha K. She's a person that likes Tasha K. And even she was watching this interview and she was like, it's so boring. All she's talking about is who is gay and who is not gay. And the main people she attacked in this interview was um, Shannon Sharp and Will Smith, amongst others. And what bothered me about it was that, uh, excuse me, my phone is ringing. I'm about to call it back. That's my sister. Um, what bothered me about it was not that she called Shannon Sharp gay or Will Smith gay or anybody gay. What bothered me was that she said that a heterosexual man, a true heterosexual man would not feel a need to defend himself. She said that if you get upset or if you defend yourself, because she said, well, if he's not really gay, why why is he getting upset? And that's the part that bothered me is that you're trying to create a world where you can say and do whatever you want to people and they're not allowed to defend themselves. And that's stupid because nobody likes when you call them something that they say they're not. Right. If I call you a thief and you come out and say, well, hey, look, I'm not a thief. I haven't stolen from anybody. I haven't scammed anybody or nothing. And you say, yeah, you are a thief. And you keep saying it, and then I get upset. And I say, look, now I'm upset because I told you I'm not a thief. And then you say, well, if you weren't a thief, you wouldn't get upset. And that just makes no sense. So we're going to hop into this video. Um, I'm not going to play all of it because it's not my content. I'm merely playing it as an example of the thought for today, which is why are men always just, this word is just being thrown at them to the point where it is honestly, I Maybe she might have a point. There's no way to even get offended at it anymore because it's to the point where the word don't even mean anything no more. Because you just throw it at you just throw it at any man, right? Cool. So I'm gonna get my spill. I'm gonna go ahead and get my thought out of the way because I just want to kind of play the video without pausing it too many times. And so, boom. Let me get my spill now. When an individual's sexuality is unjustly called into question or used as an instrument of attack. It can be deeply unsettling and hurtful. This is especially true in a society where labels can carry significant stigma and lead to unwarranted judgments. In the case of a man who is erroneously labeled as gay, he is entirely justified in defending his personal identity and clarifying the truth. It is important to recognize that while there is absolutely nothing wrong with being gay, having one's sexuality inaccurately portrayed and used as a weapon by others, and this can be done by a woman or a man, it is still a form of character assault that often aims to undermine the person's dignity or credibility. Such attacks can be rooted in homophobia or toxic gender stereotypes that equate masculinity with heterosexuality. Okay? So, that's all I wanted to start off with. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Because I, I see the platform, I see there's always topics that you're discussing. So I want to like bring up topics that are related to you and not related to you at the same time. Okay. Now, I'm going to come out the gate, okay? 
there's a big conversation or like a repeated conversation that keeps popping up about who's gay in Hollywood. Oh, sh constantly. Yeah, just out the gate. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know who's gay. I'm not in the bedroom. I know what I'm told. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. There's a difference. I ain't seen no in nobody ass. However, the streets, when the streets are talking, where there's smoke, there's fire. Definitely think Shannon Sharp. And, and it's just like, you know, I've been around a lot of heterosexual men. So she just said she never seen nothing and she don't know nothing. So basically she's going with rumors like we're in high school. And when a person says, hey, I'm not. You go, no, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go with the rumor. What kind of idiot says something like that? And this is real funny to me, and I'm about to play this video. But when people are talking and having these conversations, I want you to think about something. If this is what you stand on, you better not say a damn thing when your child is in school and somebody starts a rumor about them or when somebody's picking on you. Just go with the flow because that's that's what you believe in. You believe in rumors or what somebody supposedly said, right? And comfortable heterosexual men don't need to always defend their heterosexualness. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp is always upset when somebody's saying that he's gay. Like, what's wrong? Even if you were or weren't gay, what's wrong with people labeling you gay? Like, mm. is it that bad? Why does it hurt you? I think that's why way? I wanted to kind of open it up because it seems like. And that makes her an idiot as well, right? Because he, I watch a lot of Shannon Sharp and I watch um, Tasha K and stuff, but for the most part, he, he doesn't go on and on and on about people saying that he might say something to a particular person that keeps on saying it but in general no he doesn't take time out of his day to address everyone who has said that right and here's another thing you got to watch out for these people that are idiots and they're dishonest right to say why does it hurt you first of all don't sit here and say there's nothing wrong with being gay but then you say that a person is gay and you know damn well you used it as an insult you know damn well you used it to be funny and to insult the person so don't insult a person don't walk up to a person and say look at you your old fat self you old fat and then when somebody asks me about it i go oh what's wrong with being fat who says something wrong with being fat knowing damn well you walked up to the person and you called them fat you was trying to insult them and that's what they do. They sit there and they insult a person and then try to turn around and say, oh, what's wrong with them being that? Well, nothing wrong with them being that, but they said they're not that. And you used it as an insult whilst trying to pretend that it's not an insult. That's like a, a thing. Like, I got you. Like That's a Hollywood thing. Not in the black community, but that's a Hollywood thing. So when you in Hollywood and you able to make it up certain ladders and you got a heavy tongue and a list, we asking questions. Got you. <laughs> got you. So you think it's the fact that he's associated with the industry? Yeah. You don't think it's the fact that he's wearing like tight jogger suits, he has a small dog, um, you know, those the things. The shade from... <laughs> oh, I'm just... <laughs> I love it. And that, that that's another lie because it's, it's not about Hollywood. We regular everyday man hear that from women that's the first line of attack from any woman to any man he doesn't have to be rich famous or anything regular man hitters all the time it's the first thing they do oh he's gay or, or whatever he's you know even even online we especially hear it now with guys that are not even rich or famous right because uh, oh he online arguing with a woman he must be gay right right I, I watched a debate one time with this woman. This guy had said it was a black guy. And he said, well, he doesn't date black women anymore. And that black woman said to him, now, mind you, this man ain't famous or nothing, right? She said to this man, well, if you don't like black women, maybe you should try dating the man, right? And I remember Tommy Sotomayor was on the chat room um, floor. And he said, well, why would you say that? Because if he don't date black women, he could date other kinds of women. Why? Because he don't date black women. He automatically goes to being gay and now he got to go date a man. So it, it's not just about no Hollywood thing. It's a, well, this particular video I'm doing ain't about no Hollywood thing. She can sit on comedy hype and lie about whatever she want to lie about. But what I'm talking about is. They all say it to all men, and it's their first attack.
and it it's weird but Hollywood don't care if you gay because they all do what they do in Hollywood anyway. I'm just, I'm just asking questions though. Yeah, you go. Cool. No, absolutely. And you know, about maybe a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. you know, somebody put me on very strong source in the industry mm -hmm. onto a stylist that Shannon Sharp had, right? Right. And, um, you know, they was just like, please just take a look at this stylist, the stylist that he has with him that goes everywhere. I have never seen an artist travel with the stylist. Normally they order clothes if it's for events, but for a stylist to follow you everywhere mm -hmm. to the point where they're dressing you morning, noon and night for every show that you do. And they're sitting courtside with mm -hmm. you at every damn basketball game as if you Keisha K or Gucci Mane. And this particular stylist, shout out to the Hollywood Mugler, because that's why he got his comments off, because he would put up videos of him with Shannon and he would always be focused on Shannon's crotch area. Now, I will admit, I don't have a defense for that. But I don't need a defense for that because Shannon Sharp said that he's not. And who's to say that he's not trying to um, give a person a shot? Hey, look. I'm going to let you go everywhere I go so you can network and meet people. And, and that's so sad that you can't even help people and take people with you without somebody saying that you you gay. And and it's kind of like you're destroying your own argument, right? Because you said a heterosexual man doesn't have to um, defend his sexuality. Well, apparently he does. Because I can't even go nowhere with somebody who lives a lifestyle different from me without you accusing me of doing something with him. And that's sad. Now, if you see me sneaking him in my house at a certain time of night, then cool, whatever. We out in public. I can't bring someone out with me. I could like this person because of their character. I could think they cool. I could think they funny. And I just want to hang out with them. Why do that have to make me gay? And then in the same breath, you're sitting here saying a heterosexual man, they don't feel the need to defend a heterosexual. They have to. And then you already know, like I know. And um, I had, um, you know, I, I work behind the scenes stuff, but I've worked with Disney before. And, you know, even um, in, in the industry, when you work with people, everybody come from all different walks of life. You can't. Um, outcast nobody you working around so many different people i would applaud someone that says you know what look i'm not living this lifestyle this person is but you know what i'm gonna treat this person just like i would anybody else and if i would take somebody that i work with that was heterosexual with me to the basketball game i'll take somebody that is not heterosexual with me to the basketball game because I'm going to treat everybody the same. I'm going to treat them fairly. And so we should applaud people that do things like that. Right. Because it takes a lot of confidence to do what he doing. Because I, you know, that's why I'm saying I, I know how it would look to people. But why can't we just be a little bit more mature? And, and you know what? And even if he is, why do we care? If I see Shannon Sharp at the basketball game with the dude, I'm not going to think nothing of it because I don't care. It's none of my business. It, it's none of my business. I, I just would not have that thought. I wouldn't be trying to figure that out. People are always trying to figure out some skeletons in people's closets. And it's weird. Area or ass area. Like, these are facts. Okay. And the same stylist was exposed for exposing another NFL player for being down low. And so Shannon got this stylist everywhere that he goes, flying private to every party. The stylist hits me, he was like, Taja, how did I get in the group chat? You know how you got in the group chat, the Hollywood Mugler. You doing more than styling. You styling your man. That's what it looks like. You know, we ended up putting that out mm -hmm. and uh, Shannon Sharp blocked me. I said, but Shannon, like, it, mm. like, what man do you see going dressed down with a stylist to the point where your stylist has on 
jury that you know he can't afford on a stylist salary. Like this is jury, like jury that like Floyd Mayweather would give like his hoes. So it's like, where is he getting this jury? Where is he getting these expensive clothes? You, you see what I'm saying? Did, did someone I say they were related though? They're not related. Okay. Everybody calls Shannon Sharp Unk. So he's like, that's my nephew. But when I put out that story and he gets on like, I can't stand that, 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 with that heavy ass Tom. Tom's so heavy, he can't eat no if he tried. Now, when he, when he said that, he ended up firing the stylist all of a sudden. Because it's obvious that you're using this as a cover up. And why do you get so irritated when people call you gay? Right. People call me a lesbian all the time. Right. Do I care? Right. I don't give a f Right. I suck every night and every morning and that's nobody's business what I'm doing. But it doesn't bother me just because people want to label me a certain way. Right. Because that's a load of crap. Just because some don't bother you, don't mean it don't bother the um the other person. You can't <laughs> imagine a world where people say, "Hey, well, I I could tolerate it, so you could tolerate it." That that's just not how things work. That's not how this world works. It's totally ignorant. Um, what she just said, it it makes no sense. That's not that's not logic, right? That's not at all. Okay. It's not and he could have fired the guy, honestly, because y'all saying all these things about him, I fired a person too, man, because it's like, dang, I gotta deal with this. I can't have a stop. I'm lying, let me be honest. I that do sound weird. And I, but I don't have a defense for that. It could be, maybe. He was hiding something. But it could be when you talk to your people, hey, I understand you like this person. You're trying to help them out. They're great stylists. However, you can't keep this person around because people are too judgmental. And so you got to fire him. And things like that happen, too, where you could like somebody and like being around them. But unfortunately, people like Tasha K judge so hard, always trying to dig something up i was trying to pull somebody's skeletons out the closet i can have a great working relationship with somebody but now i gotta fire them because i gotta worry about making my money i gotta worry about you know my show everything that i'm trying to do and i cannot afford to take any setbacks and so now i gotta fire somebody and when i fire them they're going to think, oh, I fired him because I was trying to hide something, right? But no, I fired them because they're in the industry where people's opinions do matter, you know, and it happens all the time. TV shows, um, they fire people all the time. They get bad press, you know, and that's just how their industry works. You have somebody on your team. People start saying enough things about them where you feel like it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your bottom line. It's going to hurt hurt the money you're bringing in, the, the fans and people that support. Hey, you look at Shannon Sharp. He's going to look at, okay, who are my fans, the people that subscribe, the people that spend money with me. If you're saying something about me that they are against, then I might have to, um, I might have to fire the person and, and, and get them up out the way because I don't want them to sink my ship. I might like them. They might be a great friend, great stylist, but hey, I might have to let that person go and stuff like that. So we still don't really know why he fired them. I can, I'm not a liar. So I can understand why she's saying what she's saying. But in the same breath, is it his job to be heterosexual? It's not. Now, we were talking about a pastor, someone that is always speaking out against the LGBTQ, I don't know the rest of it, community. Then I will understand because you'll be pointing out um, somebody being a hypocrite, somebody being a liar. But it's not his job to be heterosexual. 
So it shouldn't matter what he does in his bedroom. It is no reason to investigate it. What does it have to do with anything? He's not in politics. He's not a pastor of a church. He's not a religious leader of any kind. He's just a guy. So why should it be important who he sleeps with? Just like um, Tasha K. You know, it shouldn't matter who she sleep with necessarily. I mean, but she talks about people in a bad way. So I could see somebody um, trying to pull things out of her closet because she bad mouth so many people. But um, so she was a bad example for that. It, it would make sense if somebody tried to pull some skeletons out of her closet. However, with somebody like Shannon Sharp, there's no reason to do that to a guy like that or, or a woman like that. You know, if somebody is not messing around with these um, social issues, it's kind of like, um, who was that guy, man, that got famous? He was always talking that good stuff that women want to hear. And then he got found out that he was cheating on his wife the whole time. What is his last name? Jackson or something. Somebody put it in the comments. Y'all, uh, somebody in the comments, know I think his name was Jackson or something. People like that, I can understand, but I don't, for somebody like Shannon Sharp, I don't see why it would be important um, what goes on in his bedroom. I, I just don't. Um, I don't think people go to him for for stuff like that. You know, um, not some religious leader that's telling you what's, this is morally correct, this is morally incorrect. So it, it's, it's not even an important topic for him, right? You know, so with that being said, Appreciate you all tuning in. Appreciate, you know, everyone that subscribed, that shows love, liking and sharing. Most important thing, man, get down in them comments. Let me know what you think about this topic. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.